Ben. The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman here for the Tiger Financial News Network 10 a.m. market update. Don't forget we start at 9 o'clock with Tommy O'Brien doing the market kickoff. Great show. We've got the Dow down 474 points at 33,589. It, it did have a little bit of a rally yesterday after the Fed speak. It ran, it's made a low on the 5th, on the 2nd of May of 32,449. And in three days it ran up to 34,117. So it's trading over 600 points below that high of yesterday. I'm going to watch this. This is not what you want to see unless the technical start to improve over the rest of the day. And somehow or other by Friday, we're up at about the 33,770 to 33,850 area. That'll be a sign to say, all right, we've established a bunch of things. And now we're going to see whether there's stability in this bounce off the low. We're looking at the S&P, same thing. Had a spectacular rally yesterday. Now it's down 76 points at 42.23. This is very important if it starts to trade below 42.18. That'll say, uh-oh, you've kind of lost a tremendous amount of yesterday's momentum. Looking at the QQQ, the index 100, also a spectacular rally off that trend line support from yesterday's low. And now we're down uh, nine points at 320. Uh, here again, 318 is kind of the support intraday you want to see. Otherwise, there's a big problem. IWM, the Russell 2000 small caps. That was a really good rally for the small caps. And they've given back three and a half points today at 189. Uh, in the next three days, you want to see an attempt to get to the 193 area. This is very interesting because gold overnight had a huge move. It ran up, and now it's up 24. That is a big move, up 24. But overnight, it went to 1910. But this is the issue. The dollar, the dollar sh still shows strength. It rallied uh, this morning just off the 14-period uh, moving average, and it's at 103.34, up 84 cents. That is a big deal. To talk about a big deal, this is just terrible. The TLT is down at 115.65 down almost three points. Those yields are doing what the Fed should be talking about. And crude oil is holding very well here. It's up $3 at 110.94. I'm back for the Tiger Technician's Hour and check out more people's daily newsletter. Hope to see you in a few minutes. Otherwise, thank God, thank you.